When we arrived during uh, the week, certainly, the centre below me, which is a shopping centre, the Gloucester Keys, um, were open. And even at about 11 o'clock at night, you could walk all the way through uh, the centre and out the other side, over towards that direction, which is where the Quayside is. Quayside sort of there, and Gloucester City Centre there, with the cathedral is not lit up. I'm just going to try and see if I can show you the outline of it. No? Well, it's there. It's not lit up. Just as well I didn't want to get shots of it at night lit up, isn't it? Um, <clears throat> anyway, so on my travels to try and get to the docks to take some pictures of that at night, and then maybe the cathedral, um, because obviously I couldn't do that the night I planned, which is the first night, because my camera had only enough charge to cover the wedding, so that evening was sort of a wasted evening, really. Anyway, uh, but probably because it's Sunday tomorrow, they have shut it. Um, so, <laughs> I suppose I could walk around the outside, but I can't walk through. I can get in because the car park here, the lifts go down to the bottom and that's the only way out. So there is one entrance and one exit. So I thought, well, I'll come up to the top, see if there's an open air level, to see if I can see Gloucester at night. And I've discovered that it's not particularly spectacular anyway. So what was I saying? Now, if we go over here, this is obviously a mezzanine level, because this is level three. And there's a sort of level three and a half, which is up these stairs. Then we can look in the direction of Gloucester Park. Gloucester Park is on the south, oh, east side of the city. And as I discovered this morning, no, this afternoon, when I came across it, uh, that um, there was a fun fair there. Sure enough, late at night, what do you know? but it's still there. And if we look out over this side, the travel lodge, incidentally, is below there. That's the travel lodge there. That is Gloucester Park. You can only see it because those are the two rides which go really high. That one. Ooh, the night zoom on this camera's good. And that one, which is truly, truly scary, it's held, holding them up upside down at the moment. Now there were fireworks, lots of them, a little while ago. I'm guessing that's where they were. I only heard them. So, by the time I'd come out to try and find where they were, they'd gone. But I'm guessing, sorry, I'm not used to this camera, and I've just zoomed in all the way. No, I haven't. Have I zoomed in? Have I zoomed out? Oh, there we are. Sorry. Anyway, so I thought that was interesting. Interesting enough to film. And now I'm going down. <coughs> Back down. Incidentally, I suppose if we look through here, we may even be able to see the shopping centre below. Yes, there it is. Through the glass you can see at the bottom. This shopping centre is humongous. Really is. There's two levels. The bottom level is where all the designer outlets are. The top level is a food court Surrounding it on most sides and above is this car park and then just on the south side Built into it is the travel lodge It's actually split in two and the second part is um, uh, Over by the docks and that has restaurants and uh, a cine world etc um, etc et so it's massive. I'm going to try and find there's a lift I know that's around this corner at the front of the building down there. That is the way out. <laughs> 